the Carp here, back with another episode of Making America Great, and today we're going to be playing in the Gold Cup. We got Cuba, Honduras, and Costa Rica in the group, and hopefully we will play in the latter stages as well. So let's go through the lineup real quick. It's going to be Zach Steffen in goal, Trusty at center back alongside Miazga, and then Brooks in the middle. We then got Nagby as our one of our central midfielders as an advanced playmaker. And McKinney, even though his role there says deep playmaker, he is going to be playing as a box-to-box -box mid for us. He's probably the star player in this team, um, or at least close to it. And we got Dest at right wing. Been training him there at club level uh, at Schalke. And then we're going to have <clears throat> Vasilev on the left and Pulisic through the middle. And then we got Reyna as an advanced playmaker, or uh, an advanced forward up front alongside Josh Sargent as our target man. And then we, we've got uh, <clears throat> the bench here. You guys can look through that if you'd like. And then a couple reserves. Well, let's just get into the first game. All right, Cuba, let's go. Shouldn't be too difficult a match saying that. They go 1-0 up early on. That's fine. Come on, guys. We need a goal before the half. Oh, nope. All right, still zero shots on target. Might have to make some changes soon. There we go. Vasilev makes it 1-1. And he's been really coming into some form recently and uh, training really well, getting his stats up. And he gets a second goal. He's on for a hat trick. And McKinney makes it 3-1. That should be the game. I am going to go ahead and give Vasilev a, uh, a rest. Unfortunate that he can't uh, complete his hat trick. But, uh, well... Then I'm going to put uh, Tyler Adams in here to shore, shore up the midfield a little bit. And then let's get Pepe actually in there. Um, actually, I'm not going to make the substitute uh, striker just yet. We're going to go ahead and put uh, Carlton there. He's actually got really good stats. <clears throat> the only reason I'm not uh, starting him is just because he's only made two appearances for the national team. He's not super experienced. Uh, but the only thing he's really lacking right now is stamina. Definitely... Uh, Improved a lot last season. Oh, there it is. 4-1, Giovanni Reyna. And that is the game over. Wanted to make one more substitution there. But oh well, we will take that 4-1 victory. A little bit of a shaky start, but uh, not too bad at all. Of course, Cuba, not uh, not the real test in this group. Costa Rica, really the only team, uh, sort, of, sort of worries me. So we got Honduras next. <clears throat> Alright, so I think I'm going to keep that same lineup. Tempted to put Adams in from the beginning, solidify our midfield a little bit more, um, but no sense in uh, changing too many things just for the sake of it. No one really needs a rest just yet. Pulisic makes it 1-0. Very nice. One of our other star players along with McKinney. He's uh, recently started... Uh, really, uh, you know, getting closer to his potential. Hopefully he will uh, continue to improve. He's got um, okay stats, but very similar to where they were uh, when he came here for, like, 90 million uh, a couple seasons ago. So hopefully he can keep on getting better. But right now he's the only goal scorer in this match. Honduras not even had a shot, though. Um, so not really that worrying. But I would like to get a second one, just because, you know, all it takes is one chance. So we get a free kick here, and we put it in through McKinney. There we go, 2-0, and let's make some changes. So I am going to give McKinney a rest. Vasilov is tired, but he's not doing great right now, so I'm going to go ahead and keep him in there. Might start Carlton next match. Um, and then I'm going to leave... Actually, I'm going to get Sargent out, just because uh, he's on a yellow. We'll just give him a little bit of a rest for Pepe, who also hasn't made a, a huge amount of appearances as Pulisic makes it 3-0, uh, but he's another promising striker. And see, there it is, their first shot on target they put away, but it doesn't matter because Pepe, who I was just talking about, has got, I think, his first goal. Yeah, this is actually his first appearance uh, with the senior team, and he has scored. And I'm um, going to go ahead and make that substitution Carlton for Pulisic, make sure he's fit for the next game. That should be the end of the match as they get a red card there. Can we get one more? We cannot. Another 4-1 victory. So, interesting there. And Pepe's improved a little bit. He's a real a real poacher, Pepe. He's got, you know, real uh, real specialty stats. Only thing he's really lacking is decisions there. Um, but definitely a promising player. And here we go. 
after we skip through this friendly at club level, we've got Costa Rica, the only real test in this group, but we are um, almost certainly already qualified for the next round, but regardless, I want to get this win. Vasilev, um, let's go ahead and start Carlton, actually. Vasilev did uh, probably get an assist for one of those goals towards the end of the match, but I'm going to start uh, start Carlton there and see what he can do. Should still be able to, uh, to perform to a decent level, and Reyna makes it 1-0. Another early goal from our wonder kid, still 18 years old, Reyna is absolutely incredible. Not liking this though, it's a little, little shaky, they're getting a couple highlights here. Definitely need to, uh, to share this up and get a second one. Don't want to be uh, sitting on this 1-0 lead. Come on guys. Decent amount of highlights, and there it is. Dest gets the goal. It was coming. And let's make some changes at that point. And I am going to give Dest a rest. Um, let's give Perez a go. Josh Perez. For the remainder of the game. Ooh, yellow card there. I'm going to go ahead and make... Oh, God. They've got a penalty, and they put it away. So despite being down to 10 men, they have brought one back. I'm going to go ahead and get Timothy Wea in. And then let's go ahead and get Nagby out for uh, for Tyler Adams here. <clears throat> Come on, can we see out this game? We can. 2-1. Draw would have put us through two, but uh, we need all the uh, all the points we can get. You know, as we're uh, obviously trying to uh, to get USA to the top of the FIFA rankings, that is the goal of this series, and this will definitely help out uh, if we can win this Gold Cup. Did I just say Adam? Okay, he rejects Liverpool. I'd probably prefer him to stay at Leipzig. Very decent uh, club for um, progressing younger players. What does that say? Moved up three places. Let's go. So we're up to 17th now. We're just behind Mexico, about 50, 60 points or so. Um, left in it. So if we win this tournament, we could well jump above them. But if we lose, it's definitely not going to uh, not going to look good in those ratings. So this should be a relatively easy match. I'm going to rest a couple of players um, for the next match, which could well be against Mexico. Really, they're the only team that, that kind of strikes fear into me um, in this tournament. Uh, Canada, not really a real worry. Let's make him ball winning mid. We'll start. Adams there, and let's get Vasilev in, and we'll get Pepe a start as well. He is a, a good poacher. And we'll get um, a couple of different players on the subs bench. Just give those guys a full rest. Alright, Haiti in the quarterfinals of the Gold Cup. Should be able to put a few past them, ideally. There we go, Pepe with another goal, and he might have just earned himself a start, as long as he can stay fifth for the next match, as Desk gets another goal. He's only got eight shooting, um, and has only recently been uh, converted to a right winger, but he's doing a, a damn good job there uh, for the United States. He's all right at club level as well, as Giovanni Reina makes it 3-0, and that's uh, his fourth goal for the United States. I feel like he uh, should have scored some more, but not too bad a record at uh, 18 years old. Come on, guys. Can we get one more? I'm going to go ahead and make some subs here. I will give Pepe a rest uh, just to ensure that he plays the next game. And then we will go with uh, McKinney out for Parks. And we will save the last sub. Oh, well, it's to it now. I did the same thing I did in the first game. I forgot to click thing. All right. Got one, maybe two games left here today. Ooh, and it's going to be Mexico. All right. So let's go ahead and get Nagby back in there. And then let's just get Carlton and Sergeant back on the bench. And we'll keep that the way it is. Alright, come on. Mexico in the semifinals. 
Oh, and Reyna makes it 1-0. Let's go. Can we get a second? We can through Pulisic. Much better than the last time we played Mexico. As I believe it ended in a draw, although Lozano does get one back. That's worrying. Come on, guys. Let's hold on. Oh, God. Come on. Just don't concede. I'm going to make some subs in a minute. Just hold on a little bit longer. Alright. Let's go ahead and get in. Ooh. I guess we'll get in, uh, get in parks. Nah, um, I don't want to. Did I leave? I must have done. I left Tyler Adams out of the squad. Well, we will get Parks in in that case. Still no goals. Let's go for... Let's give Vas Vasilev a rest. John Brooks, yellow card. Hopefully that doesn't come into play later in the match. Ah, oh, so close. Alright, last substitution. Let's get... I really wish I had my other center mid. We'll get Busio in. is not a bad player. He's going to play as a central mid, though. Not as an uh, advanced playmaker. And it looks like we are going into extra time. Very tight game, and... Oh, whew, thank God that's disallowed. Although I really don't want this to go to penalties. Ooh. I say that, Pulisic puts his away. Penalties are usually something I struggle with, but that's two goals for Pulisic, and that's 3-2. All we gotta do is hold on. And... Let's go. Oh, didn't even check. Who, who increased there? They were at the bottom of our bench. Carlton. Yeah, he's got really good stats. He really does, as a 21-year-old. Oh, wait, that was the final? No, we're through the final. Okay, that just popped up um, because we beat our, beat our rivals. So there it is. Who are we playing in the final? Is it going to be Canada? It, I'm just going to check. It's going to be Costa Rica. That's interesting. Okay, on the other side of the bracket, I guess managed to make it all the way through, so hopefully we can just repeat what we did in the group stage, and we will have our second trophy. <clears throat> Ooh, we're a little bit tired this match, though. Can Pulisic start? I think he can. Pepe is not going to, though. Sargent's going to go back into the team, and Adams is definitely going to jump back in the squad. Wea is not going to start, but I'm going to put him in there so that he'll be on the subs bench. And then I guess we're going to start with Carlton. And is he a winger? I mean, I guess he's he's got 13 crossing and 13 shooting. Uh, we'll keep him as a winger. And then we will make Josh Sargent a target man. And we are out of bench spots. So Gonzalez is going to miss out. <clears throat> and those two uh, guys that were pretty tired. Unfortunately, the Dest isn't going to make it in. But, uh, oh well. Oh god. That's a, that's a fantastic start. No matter. I mean, we, we conceded first in our first match. Still managed to go through and uh, win 4-1. Really need to get a goal before halftime, though. Make things uh, a lot, a lot easier. Time's moving slow. Got eight shots, but no goals still. Can we get one? We got another penalty, and Josh Sargent puts it away. And Matt Miazga. Oh, my. That that must suck for Costa Rica. Two goals on the stroke of halftime. And we definitely got the momentum now. Come on, guys. Let's go through and score a couple more. Disallowed goal there. Unfortunate. <clears throat> and Reyna makes it 3-1. And I'm just going to sure up the midfield a little bit. We're going to go with a defensive-minded sub here. Um... Just to make sure, I'm going to get uh, Adams in for Pulisic, and he is going to play as a balling mid. I was wondering why I put him as a shadow strike up there. It's Wea that I put in. There we go. That's Adams. That could have been bad. 
I mean, I would have noticed when it, uh, you know, turned color for the positioning. Still no goals. No more goals. Let's make our last substitution of the game. I'm going to get Carlton out. And let's go ahead and just get Carter Vickers in there. Sure up the defense a little bit. Oh, McKinney makes it 4-1, and that is going to be game over. No way they're coming back here, and we are the champions of the Gold Cup. Our second piece of silverware as Busio gets some good stats there. And there it is, 4-1, Sergeant Miazga, Reyna, and McKinney with the goals. And that is going to be the end of this episode. If you guys liked it, leave a like. Leave a comment if you got any suggestions on uh, how...